Welcome to the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. And let's not wait. Hey, it's no more time. So, um, I've talked about often um, what depression feels like, okay? And so, um, I saw a post by um, the Depression Chronicles, okay? And um, they had an interesting post. Um, it was called depression switch okay and it showed like a um on less on depression switch okay um and when you turn the switch of depression on it can feel like a slow descent into a pit of despair a loss of self and the inability to remember life before depression Joy and peace are forever elusive and motivation fades away. A profound ache that lingers regardless of the day, month, or year. An endless battle where the scars are not visible to others. Mental health is invisible. Um, a lot of people are good at hiding, concealing their, their pain. Um, a puzzle where the pieces never come together, no matter how hard you try. An unbating weight on the soul, a persistent, unrelenting darkness, an overwhelming emptiness and pain. Okay. And I just want to talk about the um, overwhelming emptiness and pain. Um... It can be so overwhelming to the point where it is just absolutely excruciating. Okay. And it is because I deal with these depressive feelings every day. Um, the pain is just so great and so excruciating that you can just... so excruciating and so thick that you can just take a knife and just cut, 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 cut it through with a knife. That's how thick and excruciating the mental pain of depression is. It is just that dark and that mm, Well, it's hell, okay? It's hell. And um, the overwhelming emptiness and pain, okay? Um, I'll let me hit to you that um, it seems like whenever, and this only happens on Friday for some reason, okay? This only happens on Friday for some reason. For some odd reason, I wake up on Fridays and it is just the most empty feeling that I ever had, that I ever have, okay? And it just seems to happen whenever I wake up on Fridays, okay? There's just a emptiness to... It's just the emptiness that had I feel, okay? And um, it just seems like um, and for me, I got to deal with this feeling for several more hours before I go to work. For several more hours before I go to work. So I got to sit here with this emptiness and um figure out how to 
defeat it, make it go away. Which um makes taking a shower a little bit more harder. Um just a little, a little bit, but I can still he'll shower. But no. It's still empty. No. Hard to do anything when you're feeling like that. When that depression switch comes on, okay? And um also the depression chronicles also had a post habits of people with depression that are often viewed as lazy but symptoms as their illness always needing a break avoiding medical attention until the situation becomes unbearable sleeping until noon or later dodging phone calls not cleaning their living space disconnecting from society calling in sick from work or school not remembering things because of brain fog forgetting important events Asking for clarification and instructions and directions multiple times. Wearing headphones constantly. Feeding off other people's energy. Not moving for hours or days. Not attending family events. Okay. And I want to just go back to this. Uh, not moving for hours or days. That's the emptiness that I feel. Um, because I wake up and I just sit there for like an hour, just empty. Okay. And so the depression chronicles also has, um, in the, his post, they say, don't judge or mock a pain you've never endured. Okay. People with depression are stronger and braver than you can imagine. Okay. So for the person who works at um, Starbucks who comes in with the oppression, the truck driver who deals with the oppression, the delivery driver who deals with depression, the um, fast food worker who deals with the oppression, um, the warehouse worker who deals with the oppression. People are really good at hiding what they go through. Take me for instance. Um, I've talked about how I was scammed out of thousands of dollars, okay? And at the 2022 suicide prevention walk, um, I was 50%. My mind was 50% at the walk. And 50% elsewhere. And I was just having the 50% of me was having the time of my life at the suicide prevention walk. And the other 50% was just me being miserable as hell. Because... Because this person just kept asking me for money. And so, um, I'm going to show you the a picture right, right here. Here it is. So, that has me um, giving the um, peace sign um, with... Um, Grace Peterson, who's a regular on my podcast. So that's me and Grace. Don't let that peace sign no fool you, man. Because um, I was miserable. 50% again, half and half, 50%. Okay. So the deception. Um, Mental pain is the most unbearable kind, okay? And so it's easier to say my tooth hurts than to say my heart's broken, okay? So that's the kind of 
excruciating emptiness and pain that accompanies the oppression. And it's just hell. It's just pure hell. It's just pure, pure hell. All right. That's it. And that's all for the Sean Farrell podcast. God bless you all. I'm out of here. Peace.